In recent years, we have heard a lot about blockchain ecosystem and Web3, like good and bad. But we have had different type of Web3 projects that were born and which try to solve different type of problem. What is Web3 and how it is different from the application we are used to design? What type of application can we design with this new technology? And above all, why should you use Flutter for design this solution? My name is Fabrice Omsa. I'm tech lead at Verso, which is Web3 company and also co-founder of Flutter Guys YouTube channel and I'm full stack web and mobile blockchain developer and I'm going to provide answer to each of these questions through this talk. But before I start and talk about Flutter, let's just define what is Web3. Web3. Web3 is the short of Web3.0 and it refers to the third generation of internet and is often associated with the concept of decentralized web. And here are some key features that define Web3. The first one is decentralization. Unlike the current internet where data are stored and controlled by few companies, and Web3 emphasizes a decentralized model. I mean, this is primarily achieved through blockchain technology and which allow data to be stored on distributed network of computer like it making it resistant to control by any single of these. So the second one or the second key is blockchain and cryptocurrency. Web3 utilizes blockchain technology for various purposes and reasons, including transaction, data storage, app functionalities, cryptocurrency, and token are integral part of Web3. And it not just serve as money like people used to say, like Bitcoin or Ethereum, but it enable also different kind of functionalities such as voting right, for example, in decentralized organization. And the third one is a smart contract. Maybe you have already heard about that, but it is kind of self-executing contract with the term in blockchain and they run on blockchain network like Ethereum and it enable complex decentralization application that can operate autonomously without the need of intermediate. But Web3 is still large theoretical and under development like with various challenges related to scalability, user experience and that's one of the reasons that we are here and we are going to talk about Flutter and how to use Flutter to create and design good products for our users. Now we are going to talk about Web3 apps and which kind of Web3 apps can we have. Like I'm going to use the term dApps, that means decentralized application. And um, I can say that there is a lot of categories and industry in blockchain, basically, but there are some main type of dApps. So the first one um, I can say is DeFi. DeFi means decentralized finance. And DeFi is a platform where users can trade cryptocurrency directly with each other without needing an intermediate. So the second is wallet. Wallet or cryptocurrency wallet. What is wallet? Basically, wallet is digital wallet used to store, send, and receive cryptocurrency securely. Like if you want to send um, cryptocurrency to someone or receive it, you can just use a wallet and you can decide to build your own wallet with Flutter because we got a different kind of tools who help us to do it. But we are going to talk about that later. Now let's talk about the third. The third application is decentralized autonomous organization. I'm going to say DAO. So it is kind of organization. It can be the platform run by rule and codes as computer program, like smart contract, like I used to say, and DAO are fully autonomous and decentralized. So people can just make the decision directly and everyone can make a vote on this kind of platform. Now the fourth, we got uh, social media dApps, like uh, is decentralized 
social media platform that operate on blockchain ecosystem and technology so people can just um, use it to control their own data and often rewarding content creator for example in cryptocurrency so we have a lot of platform or uh, a lot of tools that people can work on uh, in web3 ecosystem and we have for example dex which is decentralized exchange people can also be like gaming app and virtual platform i mean there's a lot of things that people can do but now we are going to talk about why should we use flutter for that why should you use flutter for your web3 project i mean before we delve into more details and talk about why should we use flutter for your dap firstly I'm tech lead at Verso, like I used to say, and Verso is Web3 company where we design wallets for any kind of blockchain. Like we currently have more than 15 wallets available on the store with more than 2,100 users. And we do not attempt to stop there before having deployed around 100 apps. So we mainly opt for Flutter for the following reason. The first one is because Flutter allow us to write our application once and deploy it on both mobile, iOS and Android and web platform. So this is particularly beneficial for blockchain applications that benefit from being accessible on multiple devices. Second reason is because we can have rich user interface. With Flutter, we can build any kind of widget and we have different kind of libraries, make it easy to build bespoke, smooth and responsive UI. And this is very crucial for dApps because where user engagement and experience can directly influence adoption and usage. So the third reason is because the integration with Web3 technology is very easy with Flutter. For example, we got Web3 Dart package and there are packages available such as Web3 Dart which facilitate the integration with Ethereum-based blockchain services, making it very easy to interact with smart contracts or Ethereum node directly from a Flutter apps. So, another reason is because we have such amazing community and ecosystem. I mean, Flutter has a rapidly growing ecosystem and very strong community support, providing a wealth of library and plugin that can help integrate blockchain functionality very easily, such as wallet connectivity or smart contract interaction. Okay, now let's see more concrete example. This is the platform, not the most readable, I grant you, where you can see the total balance of a user on a blockchain called Avalanche. So this is, for example, my address, my wallet address, and I can see that I got this as balance. So how could we view this scale on more presentable way? I mean, just see it on application and uh, help user to have something very simple and in order to carry out simple transaction. So that is what we are going to do and try to get this balance from any kind of address we are going to use on Avalanche blockchain, for example. Here we go. So this is simple and intuitive UI that I design and together we will try to display the balance of our address that we just say pre just saw previously so let's start by just add the package we are going to need for that so um i add web3 dart package which is one of um most interesting package we got in flutter it will help us to interact with um ethereum ecosystem blockchain so after that, we just need to run pubget, for example. And what we are going to do right now is to create, first of all, like Ethereum service. And let's say um, I'm going to do this, for example. I'll call it Ethereum service. 
perfect. So these are going to be a class where I'm going to try to um, connect uh, my app to Ethereum service. So let's just define the client first of all. And this one are going to have at the parameter like RPC URL. RPC URL is uh, an URL that are going to help us to specify which kind of blockchain we want to interact with. So like we saw previously, we are going to do it with um, Avalanche blockchain, for example. So these are going to have just two parameter, parameters and it is RPC URL and also the client we just get. But for that, I just need to make an import. So I'm going to import um, like HTTP package or I store also and there let initialize clients such as this. So that's great. but what we want is to have like get balance function and this get balance function are going to have in parameter we are going to pass the address uh, of our wallet and get the wallet address so let just use this for example and what we are going to do is to use the hash client let's get balance and we are going to pass ethereum address just in parameter yeah that is very simple right now we are going to call in our main page this function get balance in order to have the balance so let's just come there now we we can see that our balance currently is just like hard coded right so what we want to do is to call um the previous service we just create there which call uh, ethereum service and get the balance from that so what we are just going to do first of all is to use init state and in our init state that's very simple we are going to call get we are going to create function called get balance and our get balance function are just going call our ethereum service we need to define but let's just call ethereum service dot get balance and in parameter we are going to pass our balance for example there you know and after that we are just going to refresh the balance as we want like this one this value with the current balance we just get uh, let's just define first of all our address like i wrote ethereum address because uh, ethereum address is the same as avalanche address you know for example so i'm going just use the previous address i just show you and it is this one and now we are going to call ethereum service and here we need to pass rpc url that we just 
say previously that we need to pass in parameter if you remember this one so let's just pass the avalanche ERPC public node and what we are just going to have there is to call our ethereum address this one are good and we just need to make few conversion that is um, I just want to make sure that let's just specify there that we are going to return a future of Ethereum amount, for example, and these are going to be more clear. So there, yeah. And um, what I'm just trying to do in blockchain, it are going to help me to um to have the good uh to have the good conversion of my balance you know so um yeah and now if we try to run and if you were in it yeah we can have our <laughs> response there but i mean this is great but um let just brand it before so what we want for example is um to just run it so um for example we can just do yeah to string and say we just want. okay perfect so now we can see that we got our balance just there and if i want i can do something like um, this for example okay great so um yeah that is just an example i show you for example but we can use this one in different cases for example let's say for example you want to invest in some product and it is some feature you add to your app so you can add for example um, some kind of action you want to invest in and say yeah i'm going to make a transaction to send um, money from my account to another account and all of this is very simple with flora because we got different kind of packages and you can use so um i think that this can bring you like other ideas and if you want to, to discover more yeah i really um exact you to do it thank you for watching this call and i hope you learn something new and i hope to see you again soon on other conferences if you have any question outside of the talk don't hesitate to send me a quick message it will be a pleasure to talk with you Thanks and bye bye.